So you want to be making as much money as humanly possible with print on demand. However, you could be making a mistake at the most fundamental level picking a product. Let me explain further. Before I get into it, if you haven't considered subscribing already, I would really appreciate it. Just, you just have to hit that simple subscribe button. I make videos on Amazon, print on demand, you know, making money online, affiliate marketing, any of the above. So just hit that subscribe button and let's get cracking on with the video. Now, this video is heavily related to Redbubble. So if you sell on Redbubble, Give this video a thumbs up just so I can see how many of you are selling on Redbubble. And if you don't sell on Redbubble, hopefully you will start to sell on Redbubble. Now, there are tons of different products that you can sell on print on demand. And I've actually created a list here on my laptop because I, I don't have the memory to remember them all off by heart. But anyways, you've got t-shirts, sleeveless tops, stickers, phone cases, dresses, pillows, shower curtains, duvets, travel mugs, leggings, mugs, scarves, notebooks, face masks, the list goes on for flipping ages and I completely understand your pain. Like you're thinking, what do I sell? Do I sell t-shirts? Do I sell pillows? Do I sell sleeveless tops? Do I sell face masks? Which product is going to make you the most amount of money, especially now in 2020? Now, again, I want to stress, I'm telling you what I think the most popular product is on Redbubble. I'm not talking about any of the other platforms. I'm just using Redbubble because of the research I've been able to do solely based on Redbubble. So the type of product in question is stickers. And now I know you're probably thinking, well, surely it's t-shirts or face masks, but actually no, based on the research I've done, it seems to be stickers. And I'm going to explain further and also provide some form of proof, I wanna say, some form of evidence to back up my theory. Now, as well as backing up, I'm also going to give you some cool tips that hopefully you can go off and use to make more money, sell more stickers. I just want to add face masks, you know, face masks are still hugely popular. They're still a big hitter as well as t-shirts. T-shirts are like evergreen. They will always be popular. People will always be buying t-shirts, but I'm not talking about, you know, face masks and t-shirts, even though they are popular. I'm talking about stickers because I think, I think stickers are more popular than both face masks and t-shirts and you're going to see why in a second well in order for me to show you why i think this is the reason we're going to head over to the redbubble popular tags tool and again remember i said this is related only to redbubble and that's because this tool is related only to redbubble so we've got here the top 25 now i could obviously pick more if i wanted to but we're just going to stick to the top 25 and we're going to see the searches here and we're going to count okay we've got one two three four five five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tags with the word sticker. And I've done even more digging and found that something like Umbrella Academy, anime, laptop, they are also stickers. They just don't have the tag stickers in. So it's fair to say that a good 15 out of the top 25 search terms in Redbubble are related to stickers. That is a huge, huge deal. Now, just for argument's sake, let's see what else there is. I don't see a single t-shirt, okay? I see a couple of masks. I see, I see a poster. I see a mask. I see a tapestry, but I see another mask, another mask, but I don't see anything substantial. I've got like, I think four or five masks here as well, maybe four masks here. So really nothing crazy substantial. And again, like I said, if we click on like just laptop over here, if you have a look, most of them will actually be stickers. All of these are stickers. Even though it doesn't have the word sticker in it, they are all stickers. So it really goes to show that stickers are predominantly one of the biggest sellers on Redbubble at the moment. And another reason why stickers are so hugely popular on Redbubble is you can see here, it says save 50% on stickers when you buy 10. And usually because stickers are so cheap, look, 90p, £1.21, because stickers are so unbelievably cheap, people tend to buy them in bulk, right? They buy a whole bunch of them. And like, I, I'm going to be buying all of your stickers. I'm going to be spending over £150 buying your stickers. That's going to be, with 50% off, I'm going to be getting nearly 200 plus stickers. So I'm very excited to be able to buy all of your products, but that's a side point. The main thing is you've got 50% off when you buy 10. So that really encourages people to buy stickers, especially over other products. So if you're thinking stickers are insanely saturated right now, what is even the point of going into them? 
you are somewhat right. Stickers are quite saturated right now. However, however, I want to say my idea, and this is the bit that I wanted to hopefully try and help you get more sales, is my idea is that instead of researching niches for t-shirts and niches for, you know, what designs to do, what you could do is you could research niches that haven't tapped into the sticker market yet. And then you can find popular designs in that niche, you can tweak them to make them your own, and you can sell sticker versions of those designs. Now, <clears throat> don't steal anyone's design. I never, I never recommend doing that. Definitely don't steal anyone's design. But the idea here is that you focus your time researching what niches don't have that many stickers in them. And then you can just, you know, bombard it with your own stickers and blow up that niche with stickers. Now, again, I have to stress this idea isn't going to be evergreen. And in fact, when all the niches eventually have stickers, it's going to be really, really hard, which is why I'm telling you right now, before all the niches actually have stickers, to go out there and find those niches and be one of the first in those niches to actually get stickers selling. Now, uploading sticker designs literally couldn't be more easy. You just go over to Redbubble, you click add new design, you click upload new artwork, you upload your artwork. So let's say, I don't know, this is just a picture I happen to have on my desktop, right? Once you do that, you go through here, you click disable all the products that you don't want and you enable stickers. So stickers and magnets, there we go. You can edit this to make sure it's right. And then you can enable it, right? It's, it's that easy, click enable. Now stickers is the only product enabled and that's it. And you go through and you actually go to the bottom, you know, you tick all these things and you click save work and your stickers there. All I suggest doing is make sure you have all the relevant tags. You want to have as many tags as you're allowed. You want the description to be really SEO rich, which means having a description that has lots of tags, but also obviously that makes sense. And you really want to just make sure your listing stands out and obviously can be searched for. So that is it. I know it's just a quick, short, to the point video telling you all about the most popular print on demand product on Redbubble. And I hope you enjoyed it. So please leave a comment down below or let me just let me know what your thoughts are. And even more so, I know so many of you are already selling stickers. So well done. My hat's off to you for selling stickers and for, you know, getting ahead of the time there. Let me know in the comments down below if you are selling stickers. And if you are not selling stickers, then please tell me that you're going to start selling stickers. Because like I said, stickers are huge. And again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.